Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Poll on the Call. My name is Mandy Mack. And I am Chris Rivers. And we are here today. We've got uh, episode 11. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, we're going to talk about a, a bunch of different ways that you can get certified to teach poll. Yeah. So, <laughs> so let's say you've had the, you know, the time of your life taking poll class and you end up, it really speaks to your heart and you want to express it to others and you decide that you want to be a poll teacher. Um, what are some of the things you can do? <laughs> um yes i'm sorry you always know when recording from home you have those little side things going on so um it is um did you mention you just mentioned why it's so important it is so important to get certified because if you're not certified the legal action can be taken against you that is like number one <laughs> um and it just definitely helps you how do you say I know for me, learn the basics and really master your craft in order to be able to teach people properly and safely. I don't, how do, what do you feel about yeah, how it, it, it actually like, um, like, I mean, I went to, to college for, for dance and they had lots of pedagogy classes. So I kind of knew how to teach dance, but I, the pole teacher training, um, I, I thought I was like, I knew everything, but really the pole teacher training had some extra stuff that I didn't even realize. I was missing so I was really like um, thankful for that and also not to say that you can't um, learn to be a good teacher on your own um, through you know uh, a mentorship or something like that um, and I would always say like you definitely need to do a mentorship but you know getting to things on your own you'll you'll make it there but it'll just take way longer and you're gonna miss a bunch of things so um, teacher training <laughs> And then I think a certification is so cool. You just have it. It's proof. It's um, proof that you actually put that work in, that you actually paid for it, and that you actually went out for it. Um, and it's also another reason so important for insurance, which covers your ass for safety. A lot Some insurances won't cover you if you're not certified. Um, so I think it's important to say that. Uh, let me see. Any other reason that you can think of why it's so important? I'm sure there are countless reasons that you are all thinking about right now as you listen. Um, <laughs> a certification, it's, it's easy to uh, achieve. Yeah. It's like, um, I mean, I thought I was so badass after I got my <laughs> certifications, you know, you yeah. just train really hard um, and you're training with, you know, maybe a group of, of similar people too. And, it, and, it, and then you get that yeah. certificate. And like Mandy Max said, you could always learn to be an amazing instructor without a certification if you do like a mentorship. But I think a certification, unfortunately, now in the world is more professional, more appealing, and more proof that you are qualified to teach. Mm -hmm. It's sad to say that, but that's just how it is. When you go to a studio, usually the first question is, well, what certification do you have? It's just expected. Especially if you're a new a new teacher, we want to see that you you know ha have at least dedication to like at least when I'm hiring a teacher, I'm not gonna just like take you if you have no experience and no certification. Um, that would mean I have to train you. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So there's um a number of different certifications, so it's really easy to to find one that's gonna work for you. And there's a number of different ways you can get certified. There's online, in person. Um, there's uh, online, comma, in person, <laughs> comma. Um, there's live um, on your own time. So like on demand, you can just get all of the course materials and then do it all like that. Um, and there's courses all over the world. Um, Chris and I did a lot of research and we found a really extensive list for you guys. Um, so we'll, we'll post the whole list and we're going to talk about a few um, today. With that um, being said, there are so many amazing courses out there, but not all of them are sadly the same. Let me not say that. They're all probably amazing because it is not easy to make a course. Mm -hmm. But um, some of them you will not be able to use in specific states, specific countries, um, different things like that. 
just based on accreditations and just their courses. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you might have to put in that extra work just to check their accreditation and make sure it'll be accepted in a wide range of locations. But they are amazing courses. They will, no matter which one you take, benefit you. But just keep that in mind that you might have to check to make sure you can use it everywhere <laughs> in other places so you don't get stuck, unless you want to get stuck. <laughs> so true, yeah. And you can always just like research, um, obviously, the website that they have for each each training and, and see what kind of accreditation they offer and if it even matters where you're going. Um, yeah. So now that we have our big intro about different types of of training, I guess we should go into our personal experiences. Um, yes. Um, we could definitely go into that real quick and then go into those awesome classes. Do you want to go into your live experience first or my online? I guess um, mine was kind of maybe online hybrid. Hmm. I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, you could tell all about the, the differences because that um, yours in particular had a lot of different um, options. Yes, um, I took the expert fitness and they have certifications for pole, heels, lira, aerial hoop, aerial hammock, aerial silk and flexibility. Um, and then each of those categories have subcategories within them. Um, and it's widely used. And I think it's from the UK. That's where the course is from. But you can take it anywhere. And it's pretty widely accepted. Um, they have live options. They have online and I guess hybrid online. Um, mine was, I guess, like an online hybrid. So I got the, I signed up. I paid for the course. I got a all in one little cool portal. Um, and I had, I was allowed to take as much time as I want, but at that time I wanted to go, go, go. Cause I already knew the basics. I just needed to solidify it all. So I think I did it like this past summer that quick. And then when I was ready, done with the workbook, finished reading the textbook, I had to register for a in-person mentor meeting. So I think that's where the hybrid came in. So we had an in-person uh, mentor meeting. It was a group meeting with people from all over the world and we got to talk and get to know each other. It was freaking fabulous. Um, and we went over our workbook, got our questions answered, got ready for the test and the certification. And then we had to take two parts. The first one was an in-person certification. No, I lied. The first one was a written one. So you take the written one and then you get your test, like your score like that. And you know, if you pass and then you schedule the in-person one for whenever you want. And you can either take that one, like a Zoom meeting, which is much hard, or you can pre-record it and send it, which was much easier. So I pre-recorded and sent it. But even then I messed up with my, I did the corkscrew spin and a couple others. And because I did the corkscrew spin on a spin pole instead of a static, I failed that part, so I had to resubmit it. But it was very, they were very accepting. They were like, you killed everything else, but because this is not a spin course, this corkscrew spin has to be on static. So can you please submit this part again? And I did, and it was like that. So it wasn't that bad. And then once I completed it, I got a bunch of discounts to a bunch of different places and a 10% discount for my next poll certification with them and I signed up for my level three and four and now with this one as I take it I am taking my sweet ass time I think I've been taking it for like the last four or five months and I'm really trying to just master every trick and hopefully it'll help me with world poll I've been like kicking myself in the ass and like you got to finish it but I've just been enjoying it <laughs> and yeah that was expert fitness online it was an incredible program they were awesome they have so many certifications that you could take and I'm excited to get certified again with this next level and then maybe even take their spin pole certification where you do crazy spin tricks and combos. But yeah, what about you, Mandy? <laughs> you had a whole different experience. <laughs> no, that, that sounds so amazing. Like I said, the, the, um, the expert, um, a few of our teachers at uh, Pole and Wall have the expert fitness certification and I really liked um, I mean, what I saw from you guys from the, the training and what you had to send in. So it seems like a really good one. And just the fact that you can like do it in your own time. 
And I like that you mentioned that because also um, being a pole teacher is a journey and the, t the training should never stop. So um, just always looking to, you know, up your game and you don't have to do everything right away. You can take your whole life to, <laughs> to finish your certifications, but as long as you keep learning, um, that'll be really, really good. But yeah, that was the, an online hybrid sort of experience, live interactive. Somebody was like there for you, um, but not like totally in person. Yeah. <laughs> it, it definitely was. It was, it was cool. It was neat. I liked that. Yeah, yeah. Live, which I can't wait to hear about that. <laughs> yeah. So the, the only, <laughs> it was like, uh, I, I knew I wanted to be a pole teacher, but, you know, I kind of like, I'm a procrastinator and I was like online and uh, the elevated training um, had uh, an ad and it was like, get all of these three trainings for this one low price. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to sign up for these. And I signed up and it was for um, three separate courses. I signed up for pole level one, pole level two and flexibility. And all three of the trainings were three separate months and it was three days long for eight hours a day. And <laughs> I was so excited because I got to go to Body and Pole, which is amazing. I got to stay in New York City and um, meet all these wonderful, amazing polers that I had always seen on Instagram and get um, experience, you know, teaching from them. And um, yeah, it was just really incredible. And it was actually life changing. Um, and just the, you know, you get these big, thick textbooks full of like, um, you know, all the tricks you could ever imagine and like tips on how to spot for them. And um, just, I appreciate it. I'm really a hands-on person. So I, I appreciated the hands-on experience of, you know, um, learning how to teach other people pole dance because I had taught people dance before, but this was like a whole other ball game, you know, things I didn't even think about, like I said, um, came out in the teacher training that I was so appreciative of. Um, not only just for the classroom stuff, but for like overall studio stuff. And it helped me um, get the knowledge to eventually open my studio. So, um, yeah, it was just really, really good. And also, like, I the flex training was not something that I um, was interested in or knew anything about. And then once I took that flex training, once again, it changed my whole entire life. And... Um, yeah, that's one of my main things now is to teach active flexibility. I just love it so much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so so go for all like the trainings. I would highly recommend an in-person training if you are a hands-on person. Um, yeah, but there was like 20 people in our class. So the the final exam was was very long and we, we had to spot every single person in the class and like, you know, go through every, everyone and, and critique everyone. And it was just really good um, for me <laughs> and for everyone else in the class too. I love it. One day I'll have to try an in-person experience. I'm just like, I like to do things on my time. <laughs> so, I, mean, I need to be forced to like, yes. this is your deadline. You're doing this now. <laughs> yes, um, I completely understand that. Um, but I am glad you mentioned that they had hands-on teaching because I, um, with Expert Fitness, I didn't say they did give us videos to teach us the spotting techniques and stuff, which was cool, which was also very important. Um, so I am glad you mentioned that because I completely forgot. That sounds like you had like a beautiful, incredible experience and three classes for like one. I'm envious. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they were really long, long, long days, but it was so, it was just, it was like, I don't know, it was the best experience. It was like summer camp. I loved it. Um, that is awesome. learning. And the, the good thing about the Elevated, I don't know, um, probably Expert does this too, but I don't know. Elevated has like a, a Facebook group, so there's always support for all of the teachers that have graduated from the programs, and you, know, you can like, they also send emails. I think they have like an online um thing too where you can just continue your education with them and stuff like that so i appreciate that as well that is awesome um i think expert fitness allows you access to all the material um i don't know about a facebook group i do know you can get support from them anytime if you email them with questions and stuff yes. um but that sounds awesome for you <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, sometimes they'll post like fun um, games you can play with your students, stuff like that. Yeah. That is awesome. Oh my God. So mad. <laughs> but now, <laughs> I guess that will get into our list. Um, the so, longest list. It was longer than I had ever imagined, which is amazing. Yes, there's more certifications than I actually thought about. Because um, when I signed up, it was you who passed the link to me. And then when we decided to do this episode, I was looking for a list. And I was like, holy hell. Mm. Um, so the next part we're going to go into won't be as detailed as we just were <laughs> because we don't really have much experience. These are different certifications that we do want to introduce to you and we're going to give you access to in the links below. Um, if these certifications listen out and you're looking for affiliate partners, hit us up, pull on the call. <laughs> um, we are currently not partners with them, but this is important information for you to have so uh, let us begin with yeah, that this list mind. is not a full list perhaps yeah. we some things um yeah so, yeah <laughs> and it's not really detailed um neither because we don't know much about them we just know what they get into and what they offer so do you want to go first um yeah so i my list is shorter <laughs> I'll go, I'll start with the ones that offer just basic pole, pole training for like tricks and the different levels. Um, I spoke about Elevated and that one is in the US and worldwide and they offer a live in person. And um, I don't believe they have any, any online offerings, but they just started back again after COVID. So um, they're there. The expert training, which is what Chris talked about, um, live in person, online live and online in your own time. So many options. Um, we have uh, My Pole Space, and they're based in Russia. They're online on your own time, and and I think that's it at this point. And then um, Pole Fitness Alliance in the U.S. and worldwide. They offer live in person, online live, and online in your own time. Spin City <laughs> in the U.K. Um, they were also just every single option, live in person, online live, in your own time. Whole people, um, they're in the UK, and it looks like they're only in person live. And that's all I had for the poll uh, levels, and then I have some other specialty ones. But we can. Did you want to pop in or? It would probably help if I put myself <laughs> off the list. Uh, but yes, um, I love that list. You went so fast. I was like, damn, damn, damn. <laughs> be like a list. Like, you can follow yeah. it. You told you it was going to be fast, y'all. <laughs> um, so my list, um, I'm going to pretty much do the same thing as her. My list is specified. The ones I have first are the ones that include pole but they also might include other stuff and then i have just specific dance ones which we'll go into later like you said so we went over extra fitness so we have for pole dancing coaching plus size pole dancers which i didn't even know this was out there so i'm so glad this came up we're gonna have that link in the bottom i'm even thinking about taking it because it's so important we all have different body types um and um, I think the, the training from Roz, is that the one you're talking about? It doesn't say who teaches it. It just says oh. coaching plus size dancers and then the website, member of the IPIA. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the, I know that Roz, the diva, has has one. Um, I've taken hers and it's it's amazing. I'm going to have to take that. Like, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, we'll, we'll add that one in. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. So um, we talked about elevated EDs. Um, we also have kind of circus and aerial, which includes all aerial things like pole, silks, aerial hammocks, and that is American Circus Educators. You can get certified in a bunch of different things. I don't know how extensive their list is, but you can check that out in the comments below. We also have Discoveries Dance, which um, you can get certified in pole. Um, I believe they're like a studio and they give online courses, but they also offer different post certifications. We also go into, let me see, I think you might mention this later, but they do do pole certifications, Cleo's Rock and Pole. Yes. <laughs> so we'll talk more about them later. <laughs> um, I was just going to, we can talk about them now. I was going to just list that they teach all sorts of different. Um, yes heel styles and and the fun thing about them too is they offer um choreo 
So like, let's say you really love teaching flow, but you are not good at creating it. They offer, um, you know, to their teachers, a set choreo that you can teach your students. Um, so you can still, you know, have the experience of teaching a flow class without making up I the, the choreo. I love that. Yeah. OMG, that is awesome. And so they have in person, online, live, and in your own time as well. That's awesome. OMG, I've never even heard of them. So that's Cleo's Rock and Pole. That would be in the bottom. <laughs> we next have um, for pole, the Canadian Pole Fitness Association, which is so cool. I didn't even know they had their own uh, pole association. So you can get certified through there. Um, so this one is a little more category specific. This is for pole judges training and pole coaching training. And that is through IPSF. Um, they run World Pole. They do incredible work. Um, that is International Pole Sports Federation. And yeah, if you want to be a uh, like pole judge and judge incredible routines around the world, you might want to get certified in that. Maybe you don't want to teach pole dancing. Maybe you want to judge pole dancing. So that's a cool way to do it. Um, we also have the pole dance community, which I think is so cool that they teach pole because I didn't even know if I hashtag pole dance community all the time and didn't even know that is like a real thing. So I thought that was pretty neat to find out. <laughs> we also, excuse me, we also have pole dance instructor training, also very specific, but they do teach pole and you can find that link down at the bottom. I hope I'm not going too fast. Let me see. Um, that we'll get into that one. We also have Fab Pole, which talks of which um, has different certifications for pole and silks, which I might get into because I've been dying to try silks. I have an aerial yoga hammock and I'm just like silks is calling me, but that's a different thing. So that's Fab Pole certification. We also like man, I believe Manny said earlier, pole teacher training. Um, they do different certifications in pole, and I think they now have, were you saying perinatal, perinatal? Um, oh, prenatal and postnatal. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Prenatal <laughs> and postnatal um, certification. Teacher certification training. Yeah. Yes. Which is important because I think there's always, there's classes um, now coming up for, um, for people who, you know, are pregnant and still want to take pole, but now there's um, a teacher certification so you can, you know, teach safely um, during all the times of life. <laughs> I love that. That is incredible. I'm learning like so much. Like I knew we can get pole certified in like spin pole and levels, but like now plus size, prenatal, I'm dying to get certified to teach kids because like... Right gymnastics coach here i go <laughs> speaking All of gymnastics right. and and um silks chris i don't mean to interject but i i know you were like oh i wanted to to take silks i don't know if this is on your list but um the new england center for circus arts in vermont NECA, they offer all sorts of aerial teacher training i think they offer lira trapeze all sorts of other ones um i don't think they offer chinese pole but they do have chinese pole classes and maybe soon dance pole as well. <laughs> that was not on my list, but I'm so glad you added that. Yeah, it was incredible. I did not know they do a silk certification in yeah. Chinese pole. That's another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's in like, Vermont, and it's right over the, the border of Massachusetts and Vermont. So holy hell. We're gonna have to talk about that later privately. <laughs> so we I'm getting back to this extensive list. I'm sorry, y'all. I told you we had a lot to throw at you, but this is good information because why not we there should be all types of pole dancers so what else are we going to do with our lives facts and if there's not a studio near you to teach in then fucking teach at home do it your damn self it's a it's a great way to make money with a hobby you love with that being said let me continue because you're like hurry up um <laughs> this one is in our next category um, and then we have Le Studio Francois, which gives pole and lira certification. And I think that is a studio that bases out of France and they give it in French. And I think they're working on English to English courses too, or they might have them. Don't quote me, but you can definitely check that out. Um, we then have also pole 
Oh, Lord. <laughs> Ecole de Pole Instructor Training by Justine McLucas. So Justine McLucas is um, a famous pole coach, pole dancer, pole instructor, and is certified to give their own teaching certification. And you can find that link down at the bottom. Um, also for pole, we have IPDFA Pole Pro. I'm not sure what that means, but they do um, give certifications for pole dancers and for you to be able to teach professional polers and coach them as well, which is awesome. I would love to be able to do that. How first I got to become a professional polar myself. But next we're going into Cirque Fit, which gives you certifications in Polira, and that is C-I-R-Q Fit. Um, that will be at the bottom. We also have Arius, which teaches pole and sometimes other stuff, but mostly pole. Um, we'll go into that one next. We also have Vertical Joes, which sounds like Vertical Jones, but it's Vertical Joes, J-O-E-S, and it does pole dance and lap dance um, and choreos and things like that and certifications. And, and what? Work. And twerk. Uh, I was just about to ask, do you know anything about that? <laughs> so pole, lap dance, and twerk, which, you know, we all want to be, I want to say like Miley Cyrus, but sometimes better than Miley Cyrus's twerk. <laughs> <laughs> Miley Cyrus. You don't know about that famous twerk. Out of like, why would you bring that up again? Because <laughs> we want to be better than that. So take this twerk <laughs> certification. <laughs> why would you remind me of that thing? <laughs> So we can tell ourselves, yeah, we don't want to look like that. I need to get sick. <laughs> so um, um, that's Vertical Joes. Do you have anything to add? Do you know anything else about them? Um, no, I think that that was all, all of my, my knowledge of them. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. They're in Atlanta, um, Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Georgia. I was stationed out there. I, I wish I would, was a pole dancer back then. That would have been fun. But anyway, Goddess Dance Studio. Um, you can get certified in pole and lira. And then we have, I feel like I did, I said this already, Canadian Pole Fitness Association, or maybe that was another one. I think you said that. Yep, the Canadian yep I did. Yeah. So they have that twice on this list. So of course that certifies in pole. And then we have the pole studio which certifies in pole various pole um, certifications beginner and intermediate and stuff like that and then we have aradia fitness which has various pole certifications and then last but well not last because i'm sure there's more that we don't have on this list but last on my list we i lied there's another one in my head the second to last also certifies just in pole, different pole certifications, is Forma Pole Dance. And that link will be on the bottom. And my last one, I have it written here, is Greg Khan Outhouse, Greg Khan Art House International, which is based in Mexico. It is run by Grego Pole and Constantine Escobar. I hope I didn't mess up their names. They're fabulous pole dancers. I am in love with their work. Um, and they have an international certification from Mexico. It is in Spanish. You get certified in beginner and advanced. And I was looking into it. It's only for us like $300. Um, and if I, if I read it correctly, it's approved internationally, which is incredible. And I'm really looking to, into it because I think it would improve my Spanish poll. But that's a story for another day. So that is my last one, Craig Con Art House International, which I'll also add in the link below. And I think now we're getting into just random dance certifications, right? <laughs> yeah, I think, um, I mean, the last one that I had on my, my list that uh, we didn't mention is the the one um, from Indie Pole. It's from the Heels Up certification. And that one really interests me because it was um, taught by one of my idols, Jazzy K. Um, but it looks like that uh, it is only offered in maybe Europe and Asia. It was live and, and online. You had to like be in person. So if you are over in Europe and Asia and you are able to um, attend in some sort of way to um, this From the Heels Up certification, it looks really cool. Um, and you get to learn from um, Jazzy K. <laughs> All of her amazingness. 
Um, yeah, I, that was that was it. That's all on my list. There's more. We just don't know of them. Um, this is a Google search. Yes, for pole dancing. Um, so that's your whole list, even for dance. Yeah, yeah. I mean that you you covered all the other ones that were covered. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I have some more that just focus on floor work and dance. Um, so this little list is no pole, no lira. It's just floor work, different kinds of dance. Um, if you want to get certified in that and maybe add that to your studio or even just get certified and combine it with your pole dance and create a new fucking style in class. Completely up to you. So the first one we have is Sensuality University, which gives you certifications in different sexified dances, chair dances, and low floor body work. It even offers a free um, intro course to see if it's a certification you want to take. I took it and it's amazing. Um, so give that a try, Sensuality University. We'll have that link at the bottom. We also have, oh Lord. Okay, Liquid Motion, which gets you certified in floor work and heels. Um, we also have Rad Roller, which certifies you in mobility and different things like that related to dance. We have, uh, Lord, Lord, Cleo's Rock and Row, which we discussed, pole, floor work. Do they have anything else that you know of? um no I, yeah it was mostly like heels sexy uh, like um australian sexy <laughs> i yeah. absolutely love that <laughs> uh, so next we next we have twerk technicians which gets you certified in twerking which i'm so glad i found this list because i'm thinking about that because i'm a pretty good twerker for a boy but y'all can check that out on my instagram anyway next we have paper doll militia which gets you certified in silks ropes trapeze and lira they don't offer pole now but that could change in the future that's paper doll militia um and then we have twerk after work which is also a twerk certification and i might just take that one because twerk after work that sounds even more enticing <laughs> um but yeah so they certify and twerk in different twerk certifications like that um we next have sexify which i talked about which is floor work and that's through sensuality university and that is all i have is there any that you could think of <laughs> i that, no i i mean that seems like that's incredible that there's so many um yeah. available in our industry and then a I lot more wanted, than i thought yeah. Like, that's amazing. Um, I also wanted to mention that, um, you know, in addition to pole and like we have the, these dance training and everything, like if you wanted to get, you know, a training in yoga or Pilates or something, all of this is going to help you as an instructor and be make you more well rounded and um, help you be the best instructor that you can ever be. <laughs> yes, I love that you said that. Um, I love it because she's right. Um... I would have never thought when I got my yoga and personal training certification, it would help me with pole dancing. And it does. It helps me teach my pole fitness class, my pole yoga class. So she is 100% right. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. And even like like what happened with me, I, I got the three for one deal and the flexibility training wasn't even something I was thinking about. And I did it and like it turned into a whole other lifestyle for me. So you oh, never know. Like <laughs> like, out there and like get that teacher training. And also like you can take teacher training without ever wanting to be a teacher. That teacher training is gonna help you in so many ways, um, other than you know, just preparing you to teach a class. So facts. Um and maybe like um she said, you don't have to teach a class, but you could teach like a family member. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it's just a really good experience and yeah uh, it's gonna boost your own personal practice as well so it's yes it'll help you with competitions it'll help you really master the basics um i really loved getting certified i really am envious of you of that elevated d certification <laughs> but nevertheless my certification was so much fun and i highly recommend it for all of you um, I can't wait to finish this new one and get certified in other things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Same. Um, so anything else that you want to add on this topic? No, I think that's it.
Yes, awesome. So that ends just that part. We're getting into quick poll news real quick. We want to start adding this to every episode because, I mean, we are a pole dance podcast, so we want to share the pole dance news and it's important for all of us because there's some cool stuff coming up. Okay. Um, I know one of the most important things coming is PoleCon. Um, do you want to go into a little bit about PoleCon before I go into things they're offering this year? Um, yeah, PoleCon, it's off. It is in Louisiana. Doesn't it change like every year? <laughs> oh, I have no idea. When you're talking about I don't know anything about Polcon. When you're talking about Polcon, let me GTS it right now. <laughs> On the spot. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, so waiting for the info, a reminder. The pole circus has some amazing <laughs> apparel and other amazing things on their website while we're waiting for the next um, amazing competition to sign up for, which is summer fun. Oh yeah, and they also have some amazing workshops that are coming up really, really soon online. So visit the Pole Circus and attend all of their amazing <laughs> workshops. <laughs> So it looks like you are right. This year, it um, PoleCon, it is between June 24th and June 27th. And it is at Sheraton, New Orleans. Uh, well, last year's, yeah. Changes for PoleCon. Sheraton, Atlanta Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia this year. Oh, it's in Georgia. Last year was Sheraton, New Orleans, which was canceled. And then this year changes for PoleCon 2022, Sheraton, Atlanta Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, okay. You know, this year they are offering incredible things. I believe Silas Charmy from Pole Circus is going there. Um, she's Body supposed to be. Fran. Yeah, Body by Fran is doing a workshop there. Um, Expert Fitness, the training I got, they're actually going there and doing live certification. So you can go there and get certified that weekend if you want. Um, they are all, oh my God, there's so many workshops. I can't even remember them. They have incredible people like coming this year. Um, I know some pole dancers feel a certain way about pole con. We are not promoting them. We are giving news that we know. Um, with that being said, I would love to experience it at least once. <laughs> um, and if y'all want to ask us to go and teach one workshop, I'm always down too. <laughs> Maybe you have to apply. So, Everyone can apply. Anyone can apply. Um, really? To teach. Yeah, you can apply to teach and perform, I think, too. And there's, uh, I don't know if there's a competition, but there's a bunch of different opportunities for pole dancers, but I, I think it's all through application. Yeah. Oh, and gee, Mandy, we're going to have to get on this, Mandy, <laughs> math. <laughs> Um, we land on a million dollars <laughs> yes i love that omg so um what else is coming up of course pole circus she mentioned their apparel they also have a summer um summer competition coming up a summer showcase coming up so start getting ready for that um it's summer fun yes so exciting um and that is all ages so it is for kids adults obviously all ages um what else do we have coming i know personally we have our showcase coming for poe in the wall it's a virtual showcase you can watch that will be in april pso is airing oh my goodness PSO has something at like every single month every month yes so this month it was a in-person competition so next month that means it will be an online competition so you can start submitting those you can start signing up for those online virtual ones and start submitting those now. I think this month one's the in-person already passed by the time this one airs. Yeah. Um, goodness, I don't know about any other poll news. We will get better at this. I think that's a lot of poll news. For poll news. Anyway. Yeah, if you have poll news, like if you're in the poll industry, it's news. <laughs> yes, <laughs> please email send it, send us. It to us and we'll, we'll you know, broadcast it out just like yes. This. If you're doing like a workshop in the next coming months, we can add it to something. Um, email us, that'll be down at the bottom, or DM us on Instagram, that'll also be down at the bottom. And to all you listeners, of course, if you want to, um, we're looking for Monday motivation, so feel free to send us your poll pics and maybe a quote you like, and we can add it. If there's no quote you like, we'll add the quote, but we would love to get those pics and start sharing you every Monday um do you want to go into our interactive poster <laughs> yeah yeah and if you want to um learn more about 
how you can um, remember all the tricks. <laughs> Just kidding. We made this cool interact interactive poster. Um, it's going to be a series of posters, and they're pretty big, uh, and they're going to have 16 or up to 16 different tricks on each poster, separated by levels, styles, and so you've got the picture, and then you're going to have a QR code, so you can scan it with your phone, and then uh, on your phone, it'll come up with a tutorial for that trick, so um, you can hang it in your studio, you can hang it in your home studio, um, you can give it to your friends, <laughs> and it'll, there's a poster version um, that's coming soon, but right now, available now, is our PDF version of our beginner poster, so that one's available right now, and we'll have a special discount link. Yes, we'll have that down. Should we put it down at the bottom or put it for the email? Hmm. Let's make everyone subscribe to our email. Yeah, subscribe to our email. You can either get the free, e -book, <laughs> the free e book or the free e course. And with the interactive posters, I just learned with the QR if you download the e poster version, you can obviously use the link that's on it to view all the videos, but you can also take a screenshot of the QR, um, zoom in on the QR code, screenshot it, and it'll bring you to the video, which I just learned. So nice. yeah, so either one you get, the e poster or the hard copy one will be worth your while. So definitely check that out. Um, anything else? The poll ebook is either out or coming out it is almost done um i have decided to change it from beginner to a beginner and intermediate just to make it worthwhile for all of y'all so it is loaded with a bunch of tricks um now i'm just actually writing how to do the fucking tricks that's the hardest part <laughs> so I promise, yes i promise you that will be out soon the second poster might be out before that or maybe out at the same time but it yes, is going to be a wonderful ebook I decided beginner was just not enough. So it's gonna be a beginner intermediate for all of y'all. So you can get a whole crap load of different tricks. So definitely check that out. I hope you like it. It's definitely worth the time I put into it. Mandy too, because Mandy, she's incredible with the editing and stuff, but this was my baby. He was like, yeah, I'm down. <laughs> um, but this was definitely my baby that I fell in love with. So definitely stay out, look out for that and other stuff coming, I'm excited. Yeah, we have a, a lot of stuff happening. <laughs> <laughs> and we're slowing it down because it's just too fast. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that being said, I guess um, that's all we have about um, news and poll certifications. Um, yes. Yes. Um, thank you so much for listening. As yeah. always, all these links will be at the bottom and there's going to be a lot of them. Of course, watch us on YouTube if you want. That link will also be in the bottom and feel free to reach out. We love to hear from y'all. Yeah. And even if you wanted to be interviewed too, like you might, you might not think that you are interesting, but you'll have a story. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Yes, definitely. Um, we all have a post story. I mean, I know the past few interviews we've had with, were with like people who are poll dancers who are how do you say like well known with a lot of followers but we all have a poll story so we would love to share yours um so feel free to reach out <laughs> yes excellent and you can find all the links and ways to contact us um on our bio and everywhere else on our website and thank you for watching and sharing and <laughs> and all your comments and and also if you have any um ideas for upcoming episodes or things you'd like us to talk about we would love to hear that as well yes i guess that's it yes <laughs> so we are about to sign off so i guess i'm chris rivers with rio he just jumped on me i'm <laughs> <laughs> mandy back with and my we are <laughs> <laughs> <This poor dog. laughs> Bye, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs>